Hello Aries, welcome to your reading for mid-January. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Now, we're going to be doing things a little differently. I'm pulling three columns for you. All right, the first column is going to talk about what sources of abundance you can look forward to. The second column will talk about sources of love. And the third column is going to talk about any silver lining that you can embrace going forward from here. Okay. Now, I'm going to flip these over as and when we pull your tarot. Let's get you a wisdom of the oracle. I was so tempted to flip that over. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Now, let's see. Sources of abundance for Aries. Your ruler, Mars, is going to go direct finally after months of moving backwards in the sky. That's too many. So you should feel a whole lot of relief um, around the 12th or the 13th. Mercury is going to go direct on the 18th. So that's good news. Oh, lovely. Interesting. Focus on the positive, new moon in Sagittarius. That's interesting because you have temperance right here, which is a Sagittarius card. So you could have Sagittarius heavily in your chart. You could be dealing with someone who does, doesn't have to be. But Sagittarius <coughs> energy is Jupiterian energy, right? And Jupiter is in Aries right now. Jupiter is the planet that well, it's a benefic, okay? It expands everything it touches. It is a very happy-go-lucky energy. It's a very optimistic energy. I feel like there's something that you have your eye on, okay? And it's filling you up with a whole lot of, well, optimism. But then again, with the moon, there is some kind of fear that keeps cropping up that may prevent you from taking this leap, from taking this action. Something that's holding you back. The Hierophant. The Tower. Mm, okay. The Ace of Swords. So I'm getting, uh, we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. I'm getting with the Knight of Swords and the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant, the crown that the Hierophant wears, it has three layers to it, three levels to it, all right? And those levels talk about initiation, apprenticeship, and then eventually mastery. I feel like there's something that you have your eye on and you want to rush towards it, okay? There's a gung-ho attitude here. And I almost feel like you don't want to climb the ladder. You want to jump from step one to step 1,000 in one fell swoop, okay? The Hierophant taking this journey is, it's a long one, okay? It is slow and steady wins the race. It is not Knight of Swords. These are very contrasting energies. So I'm feeling because Mars was retrograding for so long, being your ruler, there's a lot of pent up energy inside you. There's a lot of restlessness. And it's almost like, you know, once that signal turns green, which is when Mars goes direct, you want to push forward, right? But we need to keep in mind that even though Mars is stationing direct, it will be in its shadow till March. Okay, so that lift off that we have been craving, it may be delayed just a little longer. With temperance and the tower, now this is very Aries energy and I'm an Aries rising, so I, I completely get this. We're not patient people, okay, unless we have other, well, other placements that are stronger. But we're not patient people. And the temperance card is the energy of being patient, of waiting, of healing, of, you know, but I almost feel like you're telling yourself that if you are patient and if you don't strike while the iron is hot, you will lose out on whatever opportunity this is. This could be a job offer. It could be an investment opportunity. It could be, well, collaborations. 
some kind of new project. The King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then we have the Knight of Wands with the Fool and the Nine of Pentacles. Look, I'm not saying you're not ready, <clears throat> okay? You are ready to take the sleep. But then again, we have to think about the circumstances, right? So if you are ready, not necessarily are your situations ready to be tapped into. Does that make sense? So it's almost like you have the money, let's say, to invest. But the right investment opportunity isn't in your midst just yet. So there's something about your environment that is still being well primed. It's still being made ready for you. It's not ready just yet. With the Moon and the Ace of Swords, I wouldn't worry about this too much. I feel like I always talk about this particular taproot, okay, when there's a lot of chaos. The Moon can bring about chaos. It can surface a lot of, well, ifs, buts and maybes. Stick to your truth, okay? Stick to that taproot. Stick to your authenticity. Know exactly what it is that, well, you want to do moving forward. The King of Pentacles is someone who is very unchanging. Okay, this is the best card for money, in my opinion. So I feel like right here, because you have two knights, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. There's an elevation that wants to happen here. Okay, I'm not saying uh, the King of Pentacles is the, is the ultimate. That would be the Emperor, which is your energy. But this is a beautiful step forward. But at the same time, it is a progression. Right? It is not step one to step 1000. So I think that when it comes to abundance when it comes to your finances make sure you are focusing on the positive make sure you're not letting fears well uproot you and disbalance you if things aren't moving as quickly as you'd want them to doesn't mean there isn't well stuff brewing beneath the surface right all right now let's see sources of love for aries we have never-ending story i mean it's a beautiful card but it is a little sad some of you may be stuck in a loop when it comes to your relationships. You could be stuck in a cycle. Let's see. The devil. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but well, the cycle that I was talking about could be toxic. It could be codependent. And we have the queen of pentacles. Righty, bottom of the deck, nine of swords, queen of cups, the empress, seven of cups, nine of cups. Let's clarify. Now, when the devil and the six of cups show up together, for me, it talks about either a karmic relationship or a twin flame or a soulmate or somebody that you knew in a previous lifetime. This could even be a childhood friend who turned into more, you know what I mean? But there is some kind of tie that is preventing the two of you from well, moving forward. We have the Six of Swords. I see you moving away though from this chaos, which is good. We have two. We have the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords. I feel like these are tied together. Your source of abundance <clears throat> is tied to your source of love. And that happens, you know. When we are dealing with somebody and they occupy a lot of our headspace, it's almost like the other things, the other priorities that we have on our list take a backseat because we're so overwhelmed with whatever it is that we're dealing with. And sometimes the heart trumps the mind, right? So I'm almost feeling like once this is moved on from energetically, not just physically, but energetically, if you try and cut that cord, you will see that that um, almost drive and that energy to gain victory in whatever this is for you it's almost like the floodgates will open there is something that is blocking your abundance right now aries i don't know what this is for some of you this could even be some kind of addiction you know whether it's something you are dealing with personally or something that your person is dealing with but something needs to be well moved on from yeah what did i say about the floodgates opening we have the Three of Cups with the Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Three of Swords, Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's a start, stop, start, stop. I feel like the minute you think things are great, things are going to move on, things are going to proceed, I'm going to see victory in this, I will be able to have this happily ever after, there's a stop. And it goes round and round in circles. 
till you put a wrench in the works you will keep running on that hamster's wheel all right aries something is blocking your blessings or i don't know if it's something or someone but you see right here with the nine of swords the queen of cups the empress and the seven of cups and the five of pentacles it's almost like the minute you taste success and success could mean anything it could just be an overall feeling of happiness and gratitude and joy the minute you feel you can taste it something comes in and well puts you in your head the moon could be that fear <clears throat> some of you may be well you may have met someone at work it's possible some of you may be in a in a business in a business partnership with a spouse or a significant other it doesn't have to be but i feel like your abundance and your love sources are very heavily integrated you see how with the queen of pentacles and the 10 of cups now what is the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles no gender in tarot is the energy of putting your oxygen mask on before helping other people what happens when you do that we did have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck all right you reach the 10 I always say nines in the tarot should be the apex. They should be the benchmark because the 10th cup or the 10th pentacle is what is offered by the universe as a reward, right? The 10 of pentacles should never be our goal. There is something that needs to change here, Aries. I almost feel like these ties, karmic or not, they are keeping you stuck. I'm not saying run away without learning the lessons. Because if you do, it'll still remain a never-ending story. I want you to catch on to whatever this is. Catch on to it so that you can heal it. I do see messages coming in with the Knight of Swords. Because the every knight in the tarot is a messenger like the pages. But I wouldn't expect this to be a message laced with softness. The Knight of Swords can be very sharp. Okay, The Knight of Swords can be very cutting. So, it is possible that the message that you receive either gives you the closure that you need to move forward from this or it will give you, well, the necessary resources to stop that never-ending story and maybe start off on the right foot. Interesting. All right, let's see your silver lining. Dance with life. How beautiful is this card? Do something to change your energy, Aries. I've been saying that. Something is blocking your blessings or someone. Some of you just need to go dancing. <laughs> the Queen of Cups has been wanting to show herself. Okay. And the Queen of Cups is water energy. Again, more water. Page of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is the energy we want to change. Nine of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups, the Hanged Man, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. You see, the Eight of Cups talks about moving on, moving away, right? The Hanged Man is a shifted perspective, changing your energy. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, that is a divine match right there. That can come together to create this Ten of Pentacles. Now, I don't know um, if this is, well, the person you are dealing with coming back with a different energy are you hoping for it or it is you just wanting to truly meet a divine match truly meet somebody who's on the same frequency as you somebody who doesn't put you in this position of the nine of swords where you're constantly overthinking the queen of cups is highly intuitive it's a very loving energy so i'm almost feeling like if your heart center may have been blocked your wish is to open it up again and aries you love deep you're ruled by, well, Mars, but at the same time, you are cardinal fire. The passion in you runs deep. And if you're not able to express that, you get stuck in your head. So, why is the Queen of Cups here? The Nine of Wands. You're not giving up. And that is the silver lining for you. And an Aries very rarely gives up. <laughs> the Six of Cups. You're not giving up on this. Whatever this is. That is what you are not giving up on. I feel like no matter how toxic the situation has been, and we have the Six of Pentacles, no matter how toxic the situation has been, I feel like you feel like you still have one last fight left in you. And um, I don't know, the magician, there you are, the emperor, justice, 
three of wands four of wands the devil the king of wands you are not giving up and a part of me celebrates you for that but at the same time i want you to make sure that you are not settling for crumbs all right this is the line of the silver lining for you so i do see this being a beautiful energy that comes in after a very difficult period we are seeing that difficult period here i could and would expect an apology if one is due to you with the page of cups this is a sweet message you remember i said the knight of swords can be cutting and sharp if there has been miscommunication with mercury in retrograde um if there's been a conflict or an argument of some kind i would expect some sweetness some nostalgia that is prompting someone to come in the way they should come in with the nine of wands and the queen of cups i feel like this is a direct um reward for not giving up but then again dance with life is here for a reason till you shift your frequency aries you cannot expect this energy to well come back in a better way <clears throat> it's going to again be a never ending story you know what i mean if you're functioning from the same vibration this person may come back correctly for just a minute and then things are back to square one your energy needs to shift permanently with the 6 of <clears throat> excuse me pentacles and the 9 of swords don't expect accept less than you deserve it's almost like you know if you've been in no contact with somebody for um let's say 2 months all right and suddenly a message comes in you will celebrate that message because you've been waiting for it not realizing that the contents of that message are inferior right you don't deserve what what that message holds you deserve a lot more so instead of accepting whatever's coming in no matter how long it's taken for it to come in don't lower your standards is what i'm getting okay with the magician and the emperor here you are focusing on well standing in your power of not feeling like you want someone else you want to give somebody else the permission to control you only once you focus on that is when you will be able to shift your energy because for now i feel like whoever this is or whatever the situation is has a hold on your life okay all right hang on a minute let me i put this really far away let me get you some charms to close this off we have scorpio so you could have scorpio heavily in your chart you could be dealing with someone who does we have dream you may be having dreams of this person it is possible or you have a dream basically you have a dream when it comes to your abundance when it comes to your career but till you focus on the positive and pull yourself out of whatever this is you will not be able to achieve that dream most of the reality that we create is in our hands right and if we we spend most of that reality stuck in our heads this will never come to fruition so be patient let your ruler well come back online fully and completely we have a pentacle you have a lot of earth showing up so again this could just mean your own abundance coming in or it could mean stability when it comes to a partnership or both and we have an aircraft so you may have to travel a whole lot for the next two weeks but i feel like this is more so talking about mercury going direct and things smoothing out you know information coming in the way it should come in all right that was it aries i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye